can you explain what SAD is, seasonal affective disorder, and how it differs from the winter blues? Well, both of these conditions, SAD and the winter blues, reflect our responses to the changing seasons. Because as the days get shorter and darker, different people have different responses. Some people don't have any problem at all. They love the changing leaves. They love the cold weather. They love the darkness. But for those of us with either SAD or the winter blues, that is not the case. SAD is the more severe form. People with SAD, when the days get short and dark, begin to experience symptoms that get worse and worse towards the time of year where we are now, around about November, uh, December, and they get tired. It's difficulty getting up in the morning. Uh, they need more sleep. They eat more, especially sweets and starches. They gain weight and they lose interest in things. Their work suffers, their personal relationships suffer. And so it's really quite bad in some people and it lasts until the spring and then they come out. And it can be a full-fledged depression. In other words, bad enough to be classed as a major depression. That's sad. Now, for every one of those, there are other people who don't have it quite as badly, but nevertheless, they just don't work and live at their optimal uh, level in the wintertime. Maybe they just don't have so much fun. If you were, say you were a podcaster like yourself, you might not really be looking forward to your interview. You know, you'll go along because you're a professional and you might do your job and sound okay, but you may be people who really followed you, people who really knew you would feel there's something missing. She just hasn't quite got that sparkle that she normally has. And so that could continue and it can interfere with the quality of your life, although you keep going. That's the winter blues. It's a milder version.